Creating contact sheets in Adobe Bridge. This is a review of creating a contact sheet in Adobe Bridge on a Macintosh operating system. First, you'll need to plug in your SD card from your camera. Check to make sure you're able to find where all of your files are located. If everything looks good, you'll want to create a new folder by clicking on File and then New Folder. Rename this folder as your last name, underscore, and then VA1 for this example or the visual assignment number. After you rename the folder, you need to copy your images into it. You can do this by opening your SD card, locating your images, selecting an image, and then holding Command and clicking the letter A for Select All. Once the images are selected, you need to click one and drag them into your new folder. Doing this will copy each image into the new folder. You can, and should, eject your SD card once your photos are transferred into your new folder. You can do this by holding Control and clicking on the SD card, and then going down to Eject SD Card. Or, you can drag the SD card down towards the trash can, which will then become an eject symbol. Now we get to open up Adobe Bridge, which you can access through Finder. You'll then want to go to the Applications folder and locate the Adobe Bridge folder and then the Adobe Bridge icon inside. Double click on it to launch the interface. In Adobe Bridge, you have access to a few different menus. We are currently working in the Essentials menu. To the left, you can access everything on your computer. We'll need to locate the desktop, which is where our new folder is located. Let's open it up and make sure all of our images are in there. If everything looks good, then we can move on to renaming our images. Start by selecting all of your images by clicking on one image, holding Command and clicking the letter A, again, to select all. We'll then go up to our main menu, select Tools, and go down to Batch Rename. A new dialog box will open with a few options. First, we want to make sure that we are renaming the files in the same folder. Next, we want to create our new file names. You will only need two of these menus, so you can delete two by clicking on the minus symbol. However, you can also add more back into the mix by clicking on the plus symbol. However, for this process, we do only need two. We want to go to our first file name drop-down menu and change it to text. This gives us space to type out a file name, so type your last name and an underscore. The second file name drop-down menu will need to be changed to sequence number. Make sure the number is set to 1 each time you make a contact sheet. You'll also want to make sure that three digits is selected. If you look near the bottom of the dialog box, you'll see the current file name and the new file name. You can also see how many images will be adjusted through this process. Make sure everything looks okay, and then you'll be able to select Rename, which will adjust the names of all of your files. Once the files are renamed, we can process our contact sheet. You'll want to switch from the Essentials menu to the Output menu, where you can access the Canvas. This is where we're going to put our images to create our contact sheet. Make sure all of your images are there before you get started. One of the first things we want to do is change our template from 2x2 two two cells to 4x5 contact sheet. This will allow for 20 images per page. Next, we will click and drag the images into the canvas.
On the bottom right side, you can see the page numbers and flip through each page of the contact sheet before you export it. If everything looks okay, then you'll go down to Export to PDF at the bottom right hand side of the interface. You will need to title the contact sheet as your last name, underscore CS for contact sheet, and you will want to save it to the desktop, especially if you're working on a school computer. Then click Save and wait for the contact sheet to generate. Once it's created, you can find it on your desktop. If you open it up, you'll see a document full of thumbnails of all of your images. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in creating your contact sheet through Adobe Bridge. Good luck!